first trip to Africa. Yep, 2005. You're with me on that. My brother, state your name and where you coming from. And then I'm going to go to Baba Raza County. Washington, D.C., New Black Panther Party. Shout out to the New Black Panther Party. When you ask them after this, after, after considering all recent events mm -hmm. yes. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the conscious community to convene a, a, a conference of the elders so they can develop some structure and, and they have to. In the they have to. The they have to. Yes, I mean, Baba Smalls, I owe him a call anyway because he's been reaching out to me, so I apologize. I'll, I'll hit you up. Baba Jeffries as well. They have to do it. I'm going to be honest with you. Not speaking specifically to those elders, but I think even amongst the elders, their loyalty to certain young personalities prevents them from instituting a system of justice because they're not comfortable checking some of their own young persons. You, you feel me? That's why you got soldiers, though. Yeah, but no, but I mean, it's a conflict within them. In other words, I don't know if all the elders are ready to put principle over personality yet. Yes, sir. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You, you, I, I, I really think some of them got that internal conflict, too. Right. Am I right, Queen Mother? And that's coming from an elder right there. But yes, yes I'm going to put the call out because the time is overdue. Yes, sir. The time is overdue. Okay, Queen. Claude, I'm coming over there, too, Claude. Where's Claude at? Okay, I'm, I'm coming over there. You got to mix some of that grub. All right. I'm going to hit you up. Yeah. It might be this evening to watch the game, the national championship. We gonna be home. Okay. Home. Call at me anytime. Okay, Claude. All Thanks right, a lot, brother. Bro. All right, now safe travel. Yeah, Hold on, one, one, one second. Let me go to Baba Raza County. Hold on. Man, I am glad to see you. This is the, the husband of Queen Mother Pam Africa, Lee Fighter. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The only reason why oh, she's not here is because it was an emergency yeah. with a movie, and that's what she is in the dead and right now. The hardest thing I've had to uh, uh, deal with coming through the first, uh, you know, being a Muslim, that uh, every black man is not your brother, and I, uh, you know what I mean? And, and forgiveness, I've got stabbed in my back too many times to be forgiven. I don't have no more room. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, brother, you are magnificent. And because you are so strong, so powerfully, and unapologetically black, you got. Well, niggas, uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to say it. You know what I mean? They feel as though they got to step up and protect the white folk yes. from you. Yes, you know what I mean? And that's their job. Yes. And we got black people out there like Common. How can a man say that it's our fault that white people don't like us because we don't love them enough? Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Oh that hurts me to my heart. That's you know what I'm saying? That's worse than the church. You know what I mean? He said that. I hope I, I hope you know didn't say that. Common yeah. said that? Common said that. Yes, oh, Common. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So just to ease your conscience, to let you know, um, the prosecuting attorney skipped a couple of the codes that's actually listed that certifies that Dr. Umar does legally have the right by Pennsylvania code oh, he to practice and do what he is doing. Mm -hmm. If you can, write this code down. 049, Chapter 41, <coughs> State Board of Psychology. It's under miscellaneous. It says, private practice by certified school psychologists. Under Section 310 of the Act, 63 PS 120310, school psychologists certified by the Department of Education may perform in private practice the acts which they are permitted to perform in the public and private schools of the Commonwealth. A person engaged in the private practice of a school psychologist under the section shall satisfy the following criteria. Number one, the person shall hold a current certificate as an educational specialist one or two in school psychology issued by the Department of Education, which is what you heard him state today. Number two, concurrently with engaging in private practice, the person shall be employed in a school in the Commonwealth as a school psychologist in good standing. The second act, Professional Psychologist Practice Act. If you remember, he kept responding to that act or relating to that act continuously throughout the whole uh, hearing. Write numbers four, six, and 10. Section 3 of Act 63 PS 1203, necessity of license, provides, number 4, nothing in this act shall be construed to limit the practice of psychology or the use of an official title on the part of a person employed as a psychologist by a federal, state, county, or municipal agency or other political subdivisions or the person certified and employed as a school psychologist in the public and private schools of the Commonwealth in so far as such practice is part of the normal function of his position or is performed on behalf of or according to the usual expectations of his employee. That's number four. Cut it, cut it, cut it there. I don't want you to read them all. Okay. Okay. But what she's saying there is what I said earlier, what some of y'all heard me say in the hearing, that a certified school psychologist employed by a public school can practice privately. That's what she's saying there. And I mentioned it, and I don't know if the hearing officer knows about it, but when I send in that paperwork, I'm going to send that in. <coughs> but what Sister Anna is saying, which is a good idea, but I hope y'all do this. Y'all got a homework assignment. Since you stepped up to be my loyal supporters, y'all have to send another letter in, which includes your impressions of what you saw today. Right. Are y'all following me? Y'all yeah. right. have to say that was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to say that. Right. Two right. clips from the Breakfast Club and a screenshot? <laughs> and y'all want to find him $10,000? Wow. And then I think y'all should include what she just read, which you can Google. All you have to do is Google Certified School Psychologist of uh, Pennsylvania State Code. It'll come up and include that in your thing. According to your code, a certified school psychologist employed can practice properly, so I need all y'all to do a follow-up letter. That'd be really strong. And what I also thought was kind of trifling, did you notice how they wanted to strike y'all protest letters? Remember that? Yes, yes. They wanted to strike. Why would you want to strike the protest letters? That's sick. But please do the follow-up letter. It shows that it does matter. It shows that it does matter. Well said, Sister Anna. Let me go to a queen. Queen mother back there. Masani, Masani, Source of Knowledge. Source of Knowledge Bookstore, New, New Jersey. Jersey, Dirty right, Jersey. Right. Right. Yes. You know, we always love and support you. Yes, ma'am. Behind what you always got to say, what's behind correct. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
the online blank, bank also. They are all, also yeah. always supportive of us and our causes and um, building us as a people. We need to make sure we all put money into our black businesses, and if, but especially into our black banks so that they can continue because it's about 25 in the country, okay? That's right. So we need to now, your funds, how can you work on getting your funds out of this GoFundMe? Well, well, well remember, Koi Mother, the money, GoFundMe constantly transfers the money to your account, right? So the good news is what? All the money that's been transferred, I don't think they can withdraw that out of the account. The only money that they can send back to the donors is the money that they froze mm. since they froze my account about three weeks ago. You feel me? Mm. So the bulk of that money, we got it. Mm. Yeah, we, we okay. We okay, okay like on how? that. The bulk of the money, we got it. So they can't stop nothing there. Mm. They can only give back the donations that's been made over these past two, three weeks, mm. you know, since uh, since they froze my account. And it's a shame, but but you know they were they were getting dozens of emails. And the sad thing about the whole fundraiser, yeah. nobody complaining is a donor. Exactly. Mm. Nobody complaining is a donor. You don't hear from the donor. You hear from coons. Mm -hmm. Nobody. If you didn't donate, why are you worried about it? Jealousy. Jealousy. Thank you, Queen Mother. You know I love you. This is Brother AC right here, Harrisburg community activist, journalist, educator, good brother. Glad he came out for me. Thanks. Um, just to piggyback off that question, if anyone wants to continue to donate, would you advise them not to until this is no, they can still. They can. I be like, I like have a paper, but if I make a check or make a donation, they can still do it because the account's still good. Yeah, the GoFundMe down anyway. The GoFundMe down anyway. And to be honest with you, brother AC, I never wanted this to use GoFundMe in the first place. The only reason why I took one out because Negroes kept complaining. This with this old archaic played out mail. Don't nobody do nothing in the mail no more. Everybody want to do it with their credit card. You know what I mean? So I didn't even want to do it, and that's how I ended up there. Because, you know, they take a piece of money out of that. And I even think I might have a case against GoFundMe, too, because I went back to check their percentages. The percentage of what they're supposed to keep is only 8%. Is They've kept more than 8% of my money. So I'm going to have to have an attorney to go look into what they've transferred over. Because they owe me another 100 grand. Yeah, I think I got a case against GoFundMe, too. Yeah. And the crazy thing about them freezing me... Have you seen some of the accounts on GoFundMe? <laughs> you got people raising money for dumb stuff. Right. And you ain't freeze their account. But you gonna freeze mine. You feel me? Thought training? They had a thought training. <laughs> Queen! <laughs> give him, give him, give him. Hold on, y'all. This is another one of my good sisters who was in Paris. Really get it, but I know she out of New York. Give him your name again, Queen. Um, I wanted to thank you, Dr. Umar, because I allow my children to listen to your lectures. Yes, my daughter now was trying to learn about our African ancestry, and attending the conference in Paris really opened my eyes to how we're blinded by consumerism and other things in the States. Here. So I always want to tell you thank you. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed that Paris one. I did and so Ethiopian food next time. Oh, we was there? No, we, we ate at the Ethiopian. Did we clean the team? That was Ethiopian. Yeah, was. was you with us? Did you, no, you left. No, you was with us. Okay, okay. No, I love that Ethiopian food. I love that Ethiopian food. Who, who we got? My brother in the back. State your name and where you joining us from, my brother. Hey, uh, my name is Jermaine from Harrisburg. Oh, man, Jermaine. That's my birth name. Hey, let me uh, give you a shout-out from Anwar. Yes, indeed. That's my cousin. Oh, man. I'll give you a shout-out. All right. Uh, the goal, the goal of the white man is to stop the rise of a black messiah. You play. That's right. Not to allow a black psychologist. <laughs> right. You have put yourself in the role of a black messiah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just happen to be a psychologist. That's right. Thank you. That's right. So, the potential of you leading us to the promised land of freedom is what they want to stop. That's and right. my brother and sister right. donating the change right. to you to help us get us there. Is ultimately the problem. That's right. It's a lot of you guys that have the potential to be the black messiah. Uh, hmm. All I want to do is be a soldier, man. Mm. Yes, sir. That's right. I'm a four-time felon. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not
Let's not talk about the I politics or all, all the other stuff. <clears throat> I feel you. They just shot Harrisburg up. Some Arabs. Shot it up. Man, yeah. You know yeah. the Arabs shot in Capitol Police two, three weeks ago. Yeah. I hear about that. Arab shot the police, the Capitol police made it all the way up to Piccolo and got killed up there. Y'all didn't hear about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What that means to me is that the Arab that's selling black people in Libya is right here. He's, he's, he's at the Al Salbarine out home manor, and he's at the other mosque in Stilton. This stuff is really real, and they're coming for you, man. It's no, there's no, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Or this is real. They just locked up a brother down in Texas from uh, Gorilla Mainframe. Oh man, for real? That was they did my security before Gorilla yeah, Mainframe. They just locked the head guy up there for doing the training. You're okay, right. I didn't know that. So the black identity extremists, yes, they are coming. Okay. But ultimately, the goal the is to stop the rise We're gonna hit the, the road. Black okay, brother. Mm -hmm. Grab your soul, dude. A potential. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Said he fits a potential one. No, he doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Be quiet. Oh, you get, you're, 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 you're right, though. You, all you guys yeah. touch us. Yeah. True. True. I'm right. in the streets. I'm in the streets. You don't watch me like said he touched us. <coughs> he said, bro, you got drunk and did right by him, bro. They light on niggas and they just shot. The cops just shot this guy. So you. I feel you. I feel you. Know all you guys are. I just. <laughs> I hope y'all can put that leadership together so yes, when our soldiers come out, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right.